So, um, some fucked up shit happened, um, and I'm just really don't know how to wrap my head around it, uh, if I'm being honest. So, like I said, I was currently working at the, at a Walmart as an auto technician doing like, uh, oil changes, replacing tires, balancing and things like that. Um, and I had been there for like seven months and I was planning on, I what, well, was is the key word, was planning on leaving to seek a different career uh, to try to take a path towards a, a greater future, you know what I mean? I wanted to leave Walmart and work for um, Tire Discounters, the uh, company, and uh, I was going to go into Tire Discounters, I was going to go in, start as a tire technician, doing pretty much the same stuff that I'm like doing right now and then I was going to work my way up um, and try to become like a full service technician you know and eventually like an actual like full mechanic you know what I mean like work my way up the ladder you know and try to build towards an actual career you know what I mean and I was so pumped up it seemed like, I mean, obviously it sounded like a really good opportunity, you know what I mean? Because uh, Walmart, um, as far as automotive techs go, there's not really any climbing the ladder with that. Um, you're pretty much stuck at a flat hourly rate. Um, you don't really get, like, bonuses or anything at all. Um, <clears throat> and they're not a full service shop. They literally just do like oil changes, tires, replace batteries, air filters. Um, that's it. They're not a mechanic shop. You know what I mean? So you can't really climb up and advance, you know what I mean? With them. Um, so that was why I was wanting to, to, to move uh, into a different career path so that I actually had the opportunity um, to climb the ladder, right? And I thought everything was fine. I thought everything was good. I called tire discounters and I talked to them over the phone and everything was going great. And uh, I had my, my first... Um, start day and I did go I went in I they got me in the system I put in my bank account information I did all my tax forms like literally filled out everything to become an employee for tire discounters and then I worked my first day my actual full first day um, and that is where things took a turn for the unexpected. So, the only, the one reason, well, there's a few reasons, but the main reason why I was leaving Walmart, other than what I had just previously said, um, was, you know, Walmart had had me limited, limited to, like, certain hours, you know what I mean? And I was needing more money and better pay, and that was one of the reasons why I was leaving, you know what I mean? Tire discounters had told me over the phone, and you know, my girlfriend was sitting there beside of me. I talked to them on the phone, had them on speaker. Okay, she heard the entire conversation as a witness. You know what I'm saying? They had told me that I would be working eight hours a day. 40 hours a week, a normal full shift schedule. You know what I'm saying? That's what I agreed to. That's what I agreed to. That's what I signed when they sent me 
the um, <clears throat> when they send you the work letter or the authorization thing, um, the letter of employment or whatever, and then you, you sign that and you send that back. That's what was on that form. That is what I agreed to, right? <clears throat> I get in there. They had me clock in at 7 a.m. I wake up really early. I arrive in the parking lot and I clock in at 7 in the morning and they kept me there till 8 p.m. at night. They had me work 13 hours. 13 hours for one day, for my first day. But told me, I asked him if that was just like a crazy, like fluke or something, if they were just really overwhelmed. But he said, no, that is how it has always been at that location. He said they can never get enough employees to fully staff the garage and they're they're always understaffed and they have such a high turnover rate um and i'm like well yeah obviously you know what i'm saying like yeah um when you try to work people for 13 hours uh that tends to rub people the wrong way Especially since that is not what anybody agreed to. You know what I'm saying? At all. I agreed to 40 hours. A normal 40 hour work, work re week, eight hours a day. Nobody said anything about a 60 hour work week, okay? That was never brought up like a single time. Um, I talked to a kid who had been there for approximately like one year. He said in his entire one year of working at that tire discounter's location, he had not worked a normal 40 hour shift 40 hour work week since the entire time that he had been there. So this kid has been working 60 hours a week for a year. 13 hours a day, six days a week. That is insane. Um, that is no life. That is no way to live. That is, you have no time at all to yourself. Zero free time. Who the hell? I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know how to, like I said, I have no idea how to wrap my head around this. And then, you know, I, I get to talking to the guy a little bit. And he's like, no, that's the normal that's the normal shift. That's the normal schedule. Clocking at 7 a.m., clocking out at 8 p.m. every day, six days a week. That is insane. And before any of you guys say anything, you know... I know for a fact that not a single one of any, of anybody watching this video, none of you can confidently say that you guys would work 13 hours a day, six days a week for a year. Like, there's no freaking... Like, you guys are... 
Anyone that says that they would do that or that they have done that is straight up lying. Straight up lying. You know what I mean? Um, that's nuts, guys. And then I asked the guy, I was like, is there any wiggle room? You know what I mean? Like, at all. <laughs> like, I don't need that much freaking money. Like, Jesus. I literally just need, like, a normal amount. Just enough to, like, pay all my bills and live, like, comfortably. I don't need... <laughs> I don't need thousands of extra dollars every freaking month. I don't need to work myself to freaking death. Okay, for... <laughs> wild freaking wild and they didn't tell like i said they didn't tell me any of this over the phone at all nobody that i talked to but of course they wouldn't of course they wouldn't why would they i mean the guy already told me on my first day when i was there we have such a high turnover rate probably because you're lying to people you're telling them that they're going to be coming in working a normal eight hour day a normal 40 hour work week and then as soon as they get there you guys trick them and say hey surprise you're working 13 hours a day and you're wondering why you have such a high turnover rate um I think it's pretty obvious isn't it I mean right Aye, aye, aye. So, unfortunately, tire discounters is not going to work out. Because I don't believe in working myself into a grave. Okay? Like, that's insane. So, for now, until I... Until some miracle or something comes along... That is an actual really good opportunity. Who kn I don't know when that'll be or whatever. But until that moment happens, I will be remaining at Walmart, I guess. Um, there's not much more I can do. I can't just leave. Like, I have to have a, you know, a consistent, stable income, obviously to pay all my bills, utilities, and the, just the cost of living, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna stay here as long as I need to until circumstances change or something. I don't know, I don't know. But like, man, shame on them for lying, for baiting me and, and tricking me into this. What a waste of freaking time. Like, seriously, what a waste of time. <sighs> what a joke. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump off here. I'll see you guys in the next video.